Complete coverage of new indictments in Steubenville today in just minutes. But first, new developments in another case the Five on Your Side investigators have been following for months. A settlement in the probe into Brown's owner Jimmy Haslam's pilot Flying J Company and unpaid rebates. This all happening the same day Cleveland City Council votes on whether to give the Browns more money to renovate First Energy Stadium. A federal judge okayed a deal where pilot Flying J will pay truckers $85 million. Five on Your Side Chief Investigator Investigator Ron Regan was the only Cleveland reporter in the courtroom when that ruling came down and is live right now in Little Rock. And Ron, you've even learned more trucking companies were shorted. Well, that's right. In the days following that FBI probe, Jimmy Haslam said only a small number of trucking companies were shorted of those fuel rebates. But today, in a federal courtroom here in Little Rock, Arkansas, Pilot attorneys told the judge that number has now skyrocketed to 2,400. Well, they were significantly higher than what any of us first indicated, okay? Aubrey Harwell is Pilot's lead attorney. But what happened is, as the people moved in to audit, they began to realize that there was more of this than they realized. The $85 million deal gives trucking companies 100% of shorted rebates, plus 6% interest. $14 million more pays for attorney's fees. The advantage to Pilot Flying J was demonstrating clearly and unequivocally that they were committed to do the right thing. Where there were things that hadn't been handled property, properly, they were committed to make them right. Don Barrett represents trucking companies who agreed to today's settlement. We couldn't have had this result in this um, short amount of time if, if, if Mr. Haslam had not uh, stepped up to the plate, said he was going to do the right thing, and then in an honorable way, he did it. And pilot attorneys are also saying tonight that 60 trucking companies representing 146 affiliated companies have opted out of that settlement and they are free to continue their own legal fights. And so far we know at least 20 trucking companies are continuing to sue independently, continuing to sue Jimmy Hassel. Back to you. Well, Ron, you were the only Cleveland reporter in that Little Rock uh, courtroom today. Were you able to pick up any clues where the federal probe is now headed? Well, we have learned a few more things here at the courthouse. We've learned, for example, that the continuing FBI investigation will, in fact, bring more guilty pleas. We know that. We confirmed that today. Reporting live from the federal courthouse here in Little Rock, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Ron, thank you. Here now a look at how this whole case played out and how we got to today's settlement. The FBI raided Pilot Flying J headquarters back on April 15th. In July, a judge gave preliminary approval to the deal over unpaid rebates and trucking companies had until October 15th to decide whether to opt out. Then today, a judge approved that $84.9 million settlement for 2,400 Pilot Flying J customers.